Paradise TV, everybody. We're here on Charlotte Harbor, right on the banks of the Peace River, and it is peaceful. It is. We're here at Lashley Park, a great place to take the family to, take a little walk, stroll around, watch boats go by. It's beautiful here. Uh -huh. You loving it? I do. I'm loving it. You will, yeah. too. Let's go ahead and get things started tonight. In tonight's show, we celebrate Valentine's Day Southwest Florida style. Take a tour to find your piece of paradise and try out a truly decadent chocolate massage. One of Southwest Florida's biggest and most well-known fundraising efforts is the Naples Winter Wine Festival. It celebrates great wine and great food, and it has a great big heart for lots of local kids who benefit from millions of dollars raised. Paradise TV recently got a chance to hear some of these yeah. kids' inspirational stories. Take a look. We've affected 150,000 children's lives here in Collier County. The Naples Winter Wine Festival is the largest charity wine festival in the world, and people fly in from all over the place to go to the three-day festival that includes a live auction and celebrity chef dinners. We get nearly 70 private jets that fly in, so they're coming in from all over the country to help our kids here in Collier County. Over the last 12 years, the festival has given more than $107 million to local children's charities, including the Guadalupe Center out in Immokalee, which this young man says changed his life. You are a role model. You, you really are. So Ivan says his family has a lot of love, but not a lot of money. On government assistance, he's helped raise his young nephews. I did whatever I could to make sure that these kids would not ever have to go hungry. It's really all about hope. It's really about change. And Ivan has high hopes. He's headed to college to become an exercise physiologist. Thank you, sweetheart. It was you made my day to meet yeah, a young man like this. From big dreams to small victories, the Naples Winter Wine Festival's donations help support nearly 40 local children's charities, including the Naples Equestrian Challenge. I like to horse the bells of Betsy's hero I ever seen. And after school programs like the Boys and Girls Club. It's, it's, it's fun to eat snack here. Every dollar raised during the Naples Winter Wine Festival helps change children's lives. It's awesome. I mean, it's totally inspiring. Um, so it's fun, it's great to see their smiles and see them light up, and it's, it's what it's all about. This year, the Naples Winter Wine Festival raised eight and a half wow. million dollars, and all of it goes to help out kids in Collier County. That is just awesome. Yeah. All right, are you ready for this? It was lights, camera, vacation out on Captiva. A national television crew from the Live Well Network was in town recently shooting a new episode of Sweet Retreat. The show chronicles the journey of travelers from across the country searching for the perfect vacation rental home. What better place to start than our own Captiva Island? The show's host says renting vacation homes is a growing trend. It's very economical, it's fun, there are a lot of options to choose from. It gives people an opportunity to really become a part of a city or a town as opposed to never you know, getting off of the beaten path. The Live Well Network is available here in Southwest Florida starting February 11th. Let's switch now from vacation dream homes to real dream homes. We are talking about the 2013 Parade of Homes gearing up all across Southwest Florida. And it may be the perfect chance for you to discover your own paradise found. It's just a fun way to spend an afternoon. And who doesn't like looking at beautiful model homes and seeing the latest trends in Southwest Florida? Quail West, a stock development community in North Naples, is hosting the first ever joint single site parade of homes. It's the first time in the history of Southwest Florida that the Collier Building Industry Association and the Lee Building Industry Association have formed together to host the joint parade of homes at Quail West. The parade includes 11 model residences from seven different builders. At more than 5,200 square feet in a price of $2.9 million, 
The largest home on the tour is McGarvey Custom Homes Casa Vittoria. Some people have an entertainment factor that is very important to them, so they want to create an outdoor living space and even an indoor-outdoor transitional space where they're inside where they might prepare a meal and then they might move outside where they may finish off the meal on a grill or then serve it outside, you know, around their pool area. The home features a stunning water feature with a view to the pool area that unfolds onto a view of the lake and golf course. The home epitomizes the outdoor living that helps make living in Southwest Florida paradise. That's what I wanted for this house. I wanted somebody to feel as if they could just move right in and sit down and enjoy you know, a nice cocktail and, and watch the sunset. Ah, this really is a paradise found. The Parade of Homes at Quail West runs this Thursday through Sunday. You can find all the details out on their website. There's a lot more to come on Paradise TV. Chalk it up to creativity. Local artists are coloring your world. And next, the guilty pleasure of getting pampered at sea.